Well, happening today, the quadruple murder trial involving a Butler County man will now move into the next phase. Highly, highly watched case for how many years now? Our own Jordan Valines is in Hamilton outside the courthouse where this will be discussed today. Jordan, we understand the death penalty is an option at this point. It is an option, to, and Julie, to answer what you were just uh, asking, we're talking about this going on for now five years, actually more than five years, since those murders first took place back in 2019. Now on Friday, that three-judge panel, they finally came to a conclusion. They found Gerprid Singh guilty for that quadruple murder, again, of his wife, his wife's parents, his wife's aunt as well. But moving forward to today, the main topic on the table here is going to be the death penalty. That's going to begin really in those conversations starting at 9 o'clock this morning right here in Butler County. And basically, though, besides the fact that they're going to be uh, talking about the death penalty, this is something extremely important to note when it comes to the death penalty here in Ohio. Just a little bit of background information here. Back in the year 2020, December of 2020, Governor Mike DeWine, he actually halted the death penalty in the state, stating that there were not enough lethal injection drugs available. So again, that's going to be something that needs to be ironed out as well if they do indeed decide to move forward for the death penalty when it comes to Gurpreet Singh. So as we mentioned, we talk about this case dating back to 2019. And then that three judge panel, they found Gurpreet Singh guilty for those murders. All four of those victims were shot to death. Last Friday, I know I was detailing both sides of the case, what the defense attorney was saying, what the prosecutors were saying as well, and then that verdict being delivered on Friday afternoon. So this morning at 9 o'clock, they are going to reconvene. They're going to be discussing uh, what has just really been such, I mean, an ongoing and kind of always up in the air kind of trial here when it came to Gurpreet Singh and whether or not he was the one that pulled the trigger. I want you, though, to listen to take a listen to the sound from some of the family members of the victims. Our Ken Brown was able to catch up with them on Friday after the verdict was read. Take a listen. What I can say, I will say just now he should suffer in the hell. He deserved hell. So enjoy your last meal. So there you go. I mean, obviously, some uh, some very clear statements there, some very emotional ones as well that our Ken Brown was able to get from the victim's family members. So that sentencing phase, that is set to begin this morning at 9 a.m. Of course, our Ken Brown, he's going to be up here covering that as well. We'll bring you those updates as soon as we get them. For now, reporting live, Jordan Valines, Fox 19 Now.